And it'll be a swell night for some of the world's biggest wave surfers in Sydney tonight. After seeking out those monstrous waves throughout the year, they'll find out who's conquered the biggest to win $20,000. And we'll have the winner for you on Sports Tonight. Those blokes are nuts. That's all in the late those news. Those waves are big. Oh, yeah. They West Aussie super surfer Damon Easto has tonight won the Australasian Big Wave Award. The 43-year-old winemaker had plenty of reasons to have a drink after being rewarded for riding a 52-footer. Safely ASL Big Wave winner caught on a stills camera. It says a thousand words, but it was worth $20,000. You know, it's a bit of icing on the cake. We do this for fun, we don't do it for awards or for money. And I mean, it takes a lot of money to, um, to, to sort of do the event. Easto up against some other big bombs from the waters of Australia and New Zealand, but conquering a 52-foot monster enough to earn the 43-year-old back-to-back titles. Uh, you know, we like to keep our waves local and uh, not promote them worldwide. So, um, you know, it's a bit of a double-edged sword getting this award, but, um, you know, it's, it's still, we're still grateful to receive it. With more prize money on offer, big wave surfing is growing in popularity, but it's the fear factor that gets these guys going. Recently retired WCT West Aussie surfer Jake the Snake Patterson now turning his focus to the big stuff. Every time I'm at home and there's a big swell, I love to tow in, but um, yeah, that's what I really want to do. It's like exciting and, and you know, it's just a bonus for me because I've got a lot of shit going on. Patterson very clear as to which format of surfing gets his heart racing. Now, if you know there's a 50 foot swell the next day, you're kind of like on edge kind of thing and, and it's pretty exciting stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, a, you know, up at dawn and you've got your jet ski primed and you got all your equipment freaking out, you know, freaking out if it's going to hold. And Rob Canning for Sports Tonight. The Oakley Big Wave Awards were held in Sydney overnight with WA's Damon Eastall taking out the major prize for conquering a 17-metre monster and he joins us now live from Bondi Beach. Good morning Damon and congratulations. Thank you Natasha. Now many may ask why do you do this? Uh, the basic line is it's fun. We do it because we enjoy it and it's, um, it may look silly from the outside but we think we're doing it in a safe way and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Hey, we're seeing some pictures there now, Damon, of these incredible waves. Now tell us about this 17 metre monster. What was going through your mind when you were riding it? Uh, well, it's a bit like meditation. You try and clear your mind and just focus on the job at hand. It's, um, it's a bit like um, riding a snowboard down a mountain, but the mountain's coming after you and you're, you're trying to avoid where the lips, lip of the wave's landing. That's where all the energy's focused. So the main job is just to keep, sort of outrun that lip and um, try and survive the wave. And, uh, trying to enjoy it on the way through. And just on that point, I was reading before, Damon, that uh, you tend to overcome the fear of the wave by realising the thrill that you get from riding them. Yeah, basically, that's the, it's a fine line, isn't it, between um, you know, enjoying it and having a disaster. And um, The thrill of, thrill of those waves is just so huge that um, it's, I, I believe it's worth the risk and so do the people that we do it with. So um, you, you, it's, it's a very addictive sport. And I think it's the thrill that just keeps bringing you back. Are you ever, ever fearful of the risks involved in this? Uh, you have to be aware of the risks and we do a lot of time um, in preparation. Um, a lot, the guys that we do it with, like Paul Patterson, a uh, well-known big wave rider and Courtney Gray, we've spent a lot of time uh, perfecting uh, our techniques and training on safety. Um, we're trying to eliminate the risks. I mean, they're always going to be there, um, but we think we're doing it in a safe way. And what about comparing our waves here in Australia with some of the best around the world? How do we rate? Uh, I think uh, Hawaii would still be considered by most surfers as the, you know, the benchmark for big waves. Uh, this is as close as I've seen to Hawaiian style conditions. Uh, pr probably not quite there, but very close. And just quickly, I understand apart from a surfer, you do it as a bit of a hobby. You're also a winemaker. That's the day job. Yeah, I work for Flying Fish Cove Winery in Margaret River. We're um, very passionate about our winemaking and um, I love making wine. It's, um, that's, that's what brings the money in. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And thanks for joining us this morning, Damon Eastall. To the NBL finals now in the Melbourne.